And uh, the one that we're really, one of the most exciting things we're doing that we're most excited about is focusing a little bit more, quite a bit more, frankly, on the Hispanic community and taking the game to uh, that population. We're very excited about that. Well, that program, Tennis para Todos, definitely very inspirational and so many future champions here in uh, Florida, in the USDA Florida section. Looking forward to seeing them become the next great American players. And for more on that, here's a nice little feature. Tennis para Todos is a, it's a great initiative from the USDA Florida and I was observing always that USDA Florida was trying to see how we can, they, they can include much more. All the communities, all the different uh, origins, Latino, uh, whatever, I mean involved in tennis, in tennis activity and really, I really believe that having 33% of the Hispanic population in the state of Florida, this initiative will help to include and to retain more Spanish-speaking people. And also I can see that because the position on the, on the map, I'm, I mean, Miami is, is one of the tennis centers in the world. And uh, people from all over the world coming basically from Latin America and Spain, they feel so comfortable in everything that's happening with, with tennis. And I really believe that UCA Florida is having the, the, the leadership regarding uh, Hispanic Latino community development. Thank God for, for Gustavo and his talents and the way he, he manages the program. Uh, and like I said before, we're, our community is 60% Hispanic, okay, and 40% and other. Yet and still this program, that he, when he brought it in, he brought it in for, for everyone. And he's always reaching out and reaching out for all ethnicity uh, um, to join the program. Uh, so it's more reflective of the community. I mean, you watched our program this morning, you know, X percent was white, X percent was black, X percent was Hispanic, okay? And that is what we want because we want a harmonious, homogeneous community. Dentro de la comunidad hispana, yo puedo decirle con, con propiedad de que en América Latina de repente es un poco, un poco no, es mucho más costoso jugar tenis. Acá hay muchas posibilidades que brinda la USDA y las mismas comunidades. Hay canchas públicas, hay, hay muchísimas opciones. Um, no lo es, no es costoso. Es solamente tener una raqueta, las pelotas y las ganas de jugar. It's great, it's easy, you know. Um, it gives you a great sense of fulfillment and confidence that you can do certain sports, you know, certain, even if you didn't want to do tennis, but perhaps you wanted to start another something else as far as like a routine for physical you know physical education so it's it's, it's great to do and, and you know I, you can play it at, at any age i think i've seen people play in their 60s orlando has been a very diversified community for years due to our uh, location here in central florida and uh, receiving families from all different backgrounds has given us the opportunity now to know that we actually in a diversified market and um, after we um, allocated the resources through the help of USDA Florida, we have now a great tool in place to apply tennis as an inclusive program for anyone, kids of all ages and um, adults as well. And it's very important uh, for us to have this in place for tennis to become more inclusive and uh, attract players, uh, new players to the game. Bueno, el tenis, eh, lo, yo juego al tenis hace aproximadamente unos 30 años. Eh, durante toda esta vida pues ha sido mi, mi pasión, el deporte, el tenis. Le he inculcado esto a mis, a mis hijos. Eh, yo soy de Colombia, eh, tengo dos hijos mayores que están allá, que fueron también buenas raquetas a, a nivel nacional en Colombia. Este deporte es muy importante porque puedes conseguir amistades, hay mujeres de distintas uh, personalidades y después de un buen juego de tenis puedes ir a disfrutar una taza de café, un almuerzo y todo es divertido. Creo que la gente que quiera jugar tenis es una gran, una gran responsabilidad para que puedan tener un, un, un buen estado para, para jugar simplemente bien. Eh, Lleva el juego como le gusten y que trate lo mejor posible que puedan 
y también que los lleven con, con mucho cuidado por, para que no se, no, no se tengan dolor o, o que se frustren. The most important thing I think that tennis can be an individual sport, tennis can be a family sport, uh, tennis can be a sport that you can enjoy across your age spectrum, and it's not an expensive sport when you really think about it. If you want to play recreational tennis and you know and, and build your family unit, it's not very expensive to get involved in. You just need a tennis racket and a ball, a backboard to learn on. You know, and if you have some good instruction, that's great. But other than, other than that, you just need a ball and a racket. The Spanish people love to play tennis. And uh, they love other sport as well, but uh, basically during the last time, they feel so identified with tennis. So I think it's, it's, it's great that the section of UCA Florida is taking, in my opinion, I, I have some knowledge about what's going on in the rest of the country. And I can see the, the UCA Florida is taking with very, very, degree of importance how they can support tennis for the Hispanic community. Tennis para todos, very exciting. You know, I kind of wish I was still in the juniors so, uh, you know, my friends and I could really benefit from some of these programs. Uh, also, a lot of growth and you're adding a few new uh, members of your staff to help build that. Well, in order to accomplish this uh, aggressive goal, we had to find someone that uh, is already ingrained in the community. We were very fortunate to find a wonderful lady in Maria Romo who's based down in Miami and she is heading up this, this initiative for us. And we're choosing three primary pockets uh, of the state that we're going to focus on. And uh, this is going to be uh, something that uh, is going to really pay some div dividends in getting that new population to play in the game. Well, it is very exciting. As I mentioned, USTA <laughs> Florida has made some of the best tennis players in the history of America. Hopefully, this program does that as well. For more information, check out USTAFlorida.com. I'm Harry Chickma alongside Bob Fender. We'll be right back after these brief messages. To learn more about USTA Florida's Tennis Para Todos initiative and to find a participating facility in your area, visit www.tennisparatodos.com today. Me parece un proyecto muy interesante, es un proyecto futurista muy bueno. Fantástico, fantástico. De hecho, yo no jugaba tenis hasta que él fue el que me introdujo dentro del deporte. Mirarnos a nosotras mismas y ya hacer algo por nosotras, porque ya está bueno, ¿no? So, it's, it's great. La Asociación de Tenis de los Estados Unidos en la Florida ha lanzado su nueva iniciativa de alcance hispano, Tenis para Todos. Esta iniciativa está diseñada para llevar el tenis a niños y adultos de las comunidades hispanas alrededor del estado. Para encontrar un evento o programa cerca a ti, visita www.tenisparatodos.com.